Hello everyone, let's continue this motion control topic. In this video, I will download this function block into this PLC theme. I will use the PLC theme as our controller, and I will download this function block. In the previous video, we introduced how we can set up this function block. Inside this function block, it includes all the essential, typical MC motion control instructions. And in this video, I will show how can we use the PLC theme. We will download this function block as well as the TO, the virtual access into the PLC theme. Since we are using the virtual access, once we download this virtual access into the PLC theme, by default, the system will show OB91 false. I will show how can we solve that. All right, let's start. All right, in the previous video, we set up this function block and we call this function block. Also, we set up the data block and connect to this function block. And now we are going to download this function block. Before we download, we can create a watch table. And in this watch table, we can drag all those essential signals. So we can control or we can monitor the essential signals. For example, the actual position, velocity, or standard steel status. All right, so we set up the TO, we set up this function block IB100, and we connect the variable. Now we can compile the project and then download to the PLC theme. Okay, save, compile. And to activate the PLC theme, so we can click this start simulation. Okay, click yes. Start simulation. Keep in mind, start a simulation will disable all other online interfaces, okay? Once this simulation PLC is a startup, we can download our project to this simulation PLC, okay? Okay, it pop up this window, and let's hit this start search to double check if the TI Portal software can find out this simulated controller here. Also, we can see that PGPC interface, it shows a PLC SIM. That means this interface is connecting this PLC SIM software. Okay, it's found this a simulation PLC 1500. Okay, let's load. Download. Let's select this a start module. Finish. Now, as we can see, the controller is trying to start up. However, it cannot start. It shows error. Okay, this is the typical fault. If this is the first time you are using the PLC sim for the motion control, we will see if we hit this uh, start run, but the system cannot go to the run mode. Here it shows error. So let's go click this online diagnostic. Let's find out the CPU diagnosis buffer. Let's check out what's going on. Okay, let's click this online. If you are connecting one actual hardware controller, it shouldn't have this error. But if we are using the PLC SIM, the software, so it will show this error. This diagnosis buffer shows OB91 has a buffer of overflow. This OB91 runs as a, the motion synchronized organization block. This is the typical fault when we use the motion control and use the PLC sim or PLC sim at once to simulate this PLC. The key problem comes from this buffer overload for OB91. The key reason is, after all, this is a simulator, this is a software. It cannot run as fast as the actual hardware. So this OB91 is here. To solve this problem, we could do this, go offline, And we can right click, click this properties. So this is cyclic, cycle time, basically it control the motion control. This is a cycle time. The cycle time is too short. That very challenge for the software. So for testing purpose, we can increase this cycle time. For example, we can increase it to 16 milliseconds or even longer. But if you are using the actual hardware, especially if you are using the Siemens Cinemics drive system, and you are using the Perfinite IRT communication, don't forget you need to switch to this, synchronized to the bus. 
Also, you can set the factor and the cycle time based on the perfect night. There's a field bus. The smaller or shorter on this clock or factor, the higher workload on the communication. Okay, so click OK. And now let's compile. Don't forget, compile it and then download. Download. Let's restart this module. So as we can see, once I increase the time, so this simulator can start, okay? Without problem now. Okay, now if we hit this monitor on, okay, now the system is at a standstill status and the system doesn't have an error. And then let's double click, jump into this function block. Firstly, let's look at this access ready double check if this access is fully ready. Now it's showing ready. And to power on this access, now this access itself is ready. Now it's waiting for us to power on this access. Okay, so we can go to the watch table. Using this watch table, we can watch or monitor the access status. And now we can use the logic or use the variable to control this access. In actual cases, before we use the program to control the access, I actually highly recommend we use this way at first. So we click this uh, commissioning. It's highly recommend we can use this uh, control panel to verify the access movement. For example, to verify the direction forward, reverse, and the speed setting. For example, if we set 200 millimeter per second, we need to verify if this setting makes sense for our mechanical system. Also, we can use this way directly control the access without using any program so that we can verify the mechanical system connection correctly. In next video, we will discuss this detail. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.